ever would have made it <laughs> without you. Yeah, never would have made it to this day. The first day in the league year, the Lions have announced, or they revealed, David Gertis saying they told Trey Flowers, never would have made it. He gone. They were saying, oh, he's a classy guy, and he's been an uh, outstanding citizen in Detroit. He's right. He had been very classy. A lot of people got mad because I ain't like the signing. I ain't like the way he been playing, you know, most of the time that he been here. And I be throwing dirt on his name. Now, not, not his family name, but, you know, as a player, you know. But my said before, he never did what Erica Ebron did, and I can't say that, though. Class person, I, you can't get mad at the brother for getting some money, bro. A lot of guys came to Detroit, got some money, and didn't get no effort. He gave some effort. It just didn't didn't work out here. If we was winning, you know what I'm saying? And he probably said if I had better talent around me, it would have worked out. He probably right, bro. He probably right. But I'm glad he got his money. I'm always glad to see these guys, especially the brothers, get their money and be able to provide for their family. That's what I'm about, you know? So I'm happy. Like, But on you know, the football field, it's football. It's not personal. You know, hell of a person. He didn't bitch and complain, excuse my language. He did not show up to camps. He didn't skip out. He ain't on social media doing what the youngsters do, man. It's an applicable split. You know, applicable blow, whatever. You know, so shout out to him, man. Like, he could have easily, like, been, especially capping back at people like me. You know what I'm saying? The fans, he kept it classy, bro. You know, you can't win versus the fans. You just go out there and perform. But I think the highlight of his time being in Detroit is pretty, pretty much that Green Bay game where – they they said they said that he was uh they said that he was holding that it was a Monday night game they said he was holding that he wasn't holding that that's pretty much what I always pretty much remember him for was saying that he was holding but he wasn't holding that's why I remember it ain't nothing like like uh bad on his part but you know it was what it was that's what I remember you know. Man, it's hard. To, it's hard to get, it get. It's hard to generate pressure. It's hard to generate pressure off of uh, when you don't have a running. Like who was his running mate? Like Romeo Corey did well. I mean, in the inside, you know. So I don't. I don't think it was a fit, bro. You know. I mean, it's like they like Aiden Hutchinson. I know. I'm not making no comparison. I'm saying that Aiden Hutchinson is compared to dude that went third and fourth round. I'm not comparing their games, but I just don't. Uh, I just don't think it's a fit, honestly, bro. That's just my opinion on it. I don't think it's a fit. That's it. Nothing, 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 nothing else, nothing more. I didn't like the fit. I didn't like the fit. Good players. Well, you know, but I don't like neither one of them. I don't see it. I look around like my edges, bro. Like, especially on the back side, bro, the weak side, like my edges, bro. Fast and you know, I just like him effective. However, you effective, it's fine, but I just think he was effective enough. His tape, he got seven and a half sacks, they ran a more team oriented scheme. But even when he got Matt Patricia up in there, bro, you know, he came in with Matt Patricia, he wasn't like it didn't really work. A lot of Patricia guys got here and it didn't work, bro. Just let you know it's more Belichick than anything. They were trying to replicate what Belichick do, but you can't. When you talking about Brady Belichick in the New England era, you gotta give Belichick his respect. Cause that dude make adjustments that can't nobody else make in this sport. But uh, him being gone, it is gonna free up some more money. I forget, like maybe eleven or twelve in, in the cap, or whatever, bro. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna free up some money for for them, man. And also, high time might I like, have to restructure, or get cut. At this point, how bad he was sliding on the inside. You're not gonna pay guard that amount of money unless he, you know, get cut and get a whole different type of contract. He probably gone. So I mean, Nelson is a tackle. He's still learning, and Evan Brown, backup center. So they probably Stenberger might have to step in there. Or they might have to draft another guard for competition or backup center to go with Evan Brown. So they can cut High Tide and Jamal Williams, and they'll clear about 30 million in cap. High Tide, Jamal Williams, and Trey Flowers I think it was. <laughs> Also, potentially, you can move DeAndre Swift and TJ Hawkinson. Hawkinson been injury prone. They haven't found a way to make him to get him the ball consistently, you know, and be dominant. But the thing about it, if you bring in Pickens in or Allen Robinson, bro, like, like really, with the way Amara Rye, you know, he could have a rookie slump, he could get injured. But the way Amara Rye working the slot, the way Josh Reynolds working outside with Josh, 
or Jared Goof or Goff, excuse me. Um, yeah, you know, like I said before, they can have a couple pieces to that offense, and, you know, it should be dominant, bro. Craig Reynolds running the ball like no other, so. So, yeah, Trey, open up some space. I mean, you can move some shit around. You can move some stuff around, move some capital around, get more picks, and really, you know, get Dearborn, man. They is, bro. Get Dearborn, man. They, they, they racing. I don't even think that's it was that important, but it is what it is. But uh I raced before, but uh but yeah, other than that, man, it's just so they got they got they can they got a lot of flexibility, bro. If they wanted to move Jerry Goff, they could. But I would keep them. Now always my plan would be as of right now, until I study more prospects, keep them. Draft Willis. Right? I you know, I like Jordan Davidson and all of them. You could turn some of them the people that's you know, capital into more assets. You got picks next year. You can turn that. You can really make, you know, make this a youth movement. But then again, when you start drafting multiple people in the first, then they do for contracts at the same time. And you know what I'm saying? So that's something to think about. But Trey Flowers getting up out of here. Um, it is what it is. So he might head back to New England. He might head somewhere else. I don't know. Brian Flores not there in Miami no more. Not sure where he had it. Could head into a competitor. I wouldn't be surprised him come back. Giving us a shellacking. That shit wouldn't surprise me. Um, so, I mean, we just got we to wait and see, man. So, I mean, they just spit right past them. We ain't even pulled them over. That's hilarious to me. We going that way, too. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Replacing them, I mean, obviously, um, Charles Harris, you got to think about bringing him back. Uh, Romeo Corr, they said he expect him to come back in some capacity by the end of training camp. Um, you still got Austin Bryan as well, too. So, I mean, I mean that's, up, that's up to up to them, man. Obviously, they're going to add it. They want to add an edge. I mean, add Kippo though there. It's a huge upgrade. Jermaine Johnson pretty good. And Hudson, he, he's solid. I'm not a big fan of his. But, um, like I said, my game plan would be Malik Willis. And maybe uh, get back in that first round with some capital for next year. And then get up Jermaine Johnson. Keep the 32nd if you can. Take Pickens or, or, or Daxton Hill or Klein that safety. Come back and take whoever. If they there, whoever you ain't get. Right now, that's my game plan. I take the the first next year, and we even for the our first next year. We try to get back in the first next year. But that's you know packaging that with Hawkinson or packaging that with DeAndre Swift. You gotta do. But if not, they don't you know end up with an edge. So be it, bro. Willis, I think Willis is gonna be big time. I could be wrong. Come back to his career and say he was wrong. He was wrong on Parsons. Somebody said I said Demani was the best receiver last year. I thought he was. Jamar Chase phenomenal, but you know he talking about got to miss a year out of football or whatever, man. I know he's gonna be good, but Ronnie Brown and Beach, bro, he just ain't have a quarterback in Washington. Now he got Carson Wentz. I mean, you know, it's not better than what they had. I like Heineke, but he never took that next step. But he's serviceable. You need to kind of come in and win two or three games. So it is what it is. Um, my flowers gone, and now, I mean, Harris played well. I mean, Romeo gonna come back. So I mean, Austin Bryan. So you really need that. I see what people talking about. You really need that guy on that line. Oh, they driving like me. You really need the guy on that line to push that to push that off the edge too. So especially gonna play four three. So I mean it's gonna be very interesting, bro. But this edge just through the ground. Now the Trayvon Walker guy, I was looking at this tape, but his production don't it don't it don't match, bro. Like Jermaine Johnson, that's who I really like. If you don't take Kibble, I like Jermaine Johnson. You know, his his production matches his talent. So, you know, we see how far he he slide, but you know, his 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 scouting time. Matches his uh, it matches his uh, his production, bro. And that's that's big time, man. So that's my opinion on that. But it's, it's so you know, that's just what I think about it. But Trey Flowers, girl, man, my memory, all my biggest memory, of him will always be. It will always be that Green Bay game. That's Monday night. Was it a Monday night game where he? He got called for multiple holds. Um, he got called for multiple holds, bro. On the, uh, you know, right, you weren't high on, on the, on the, on the uh, shoulder passing. I remember, I always remember that too. But Shannon Sharp was basically saying, like, you know, he didn't care they cheated. You know, that's when I stopped watching Undisputed, Undisputed for real, bro. You know, I kind of peek in here and there, you know, some of the takes they have, but I don't really watch it. Like, well, that's when I watched 
watching Undisputed, bro. When he was like, man, I don't care about none of that. They lost it. They, 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 they don't care about, you know, you know, not cheating. All they do is talk about the same two or three teams in sports all day. And a lot of people mad at Skip Bayless about, you know, calling Russell, Russell, Westbrook, Russell, Westbrook. And Boss Spice, well, you need to go up there and do what uh, 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 Jim Everett did with, uh, with, uh, with Jim Rohn. He said it to my face. I'm popping right in his mouth. He do. I know he old, but the first thing Skip Bayless going to do is call the police. I feel you. So, you know, Jim, he said, call me uh, Chris Everett one more time. And we going to see. He said, I did it already twice in the show. And we got a lot of show left. He said, we do it one more time. They might as well go to a commercial break. And Jim Everett act like, you know, he, they were talking about he was seeing ghosts. And he fell down and wasn't nobody around him for a sack and shit, man. Anybody know? Go look up uh, Chris uh, Jim Everett and uh, Jim Rome on YouTube. I mean, you will not be sorry. That's what need to happen to Skip Bayless. But I mean, all that, all that, is, all that is is uh, it's all it's all scripted. It's a TV show. It's not really a natural show. The way Shannon shot riding LeBron like that, bro. That's part of the the game. That's part of the script. You know, it's, I know, you know, people don't want people playing with people's names because that's my family name and stuff, but it's part of the script, man. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even get them the free, free game, bro. Calling that, I mean, he called Chris Boss, Boss Spice, then he said it to his face. I'm like, I mean, then again, y'all can't do what they do, and it's all use trash and this, that, and the third, man. But uh, I would never trade flowers for that game, for sure. You know, it wasn't bad. I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't bad on his part. You know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. Hell of a, you know, hell of a game, man. But just in Detroit, we got to change that stigma about, we got to change that stigma about losing, man. They got to be serious about spending money. Maybe not right now, but they got to be serious about spending money, you know, and, 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 and being able to value what this team is going to be. This team is going is going to be judged by this is team this this rebuild is going to be judged by a lot of things. But the main thing is, can they find the, the quarterback to win? With? That's what it's going that's what it's going to be judged by. Can they find the quarterback, the franchise, the, the true transcendent franchise quarterback? You know, Arizona found theirs in Kyler Murray, and they gave up on Josh Rosen. That's fine. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. It might seem unethical, but they too many ethics in fucking business. Real talk. Ain't no ethics in business and shit, man. None whatsoever, bro. You talking about business, man? These, these people don't have no codes out here, man. So, man, it is what it is, man. But uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to notifications. We go live with our video. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal, link description. Want to make a financial donation? Cash. I mean, uh, want, to, want to find me on social media? Twitter's the fast one, Facebook and Instagram. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.